is a book review of Spirit by Darwin Cook, book one. And you've got the back cover there. Now this is great. Now Will Eisner, of course, Spirit, and uh, but for me, I think Darwin Cook's Spirit is pretty amazing as well. I love this one. Now this was a collection of some comic books, one to six of Spirit, and also there's a book two, obviously, collects the other ones. And also there's a Batman and Spirit story, which is real nice sort of crossover story. For me, the colours in this are just beautiful all the way through. The inking is great. Artwork, of course, is superb. Lots of rain. Can't beat that with, of course, and this one, Ginger Coffee by Darwin Cook. Just, again, this is the thing with the typography as well. It's just beautiful. But to me, is the way he uses shadows and colour. Just awesome all the way through. Just off, people often, you've got like in a car, you've got the face is just cut off by shadows. So you've got like silhouette, obviously, and then you've got occasionally you've got one where just highlighted on their face. You've got a lovely one there with just there. Just the pacing, everything, the story, the light. Also, I love this when gunfire happens. You've got the lights against the faces, just flashes across the face. I just think it's beautiful. Like in an alleyway, there's a dramatic shot down an alleyway. And again, the colours are just so stunning. Just beautiful book, this one. Pigel, of course, good old story there. Got this. Uh, and also here, I love the artwork. The artwork gives that, and it's got a slight, this one's got a slight blur in it. He's holding up spirit. Just awesome. And the, the curls of the, the couch, just beautiful. And again, the colouring is just amazing all the way through. But yeah, gorgeous. Actually, everything about that story is just brilliant. Lots of shifty characters as well. You, of course, all of the stories in this, there's always characters you think are real shady characters. They've always got, they're always stealing jewellery or they're doing this. They're all a dubious bunch, but it's still, and you've got this great opening scene in this one. This is another story where you've got, um, it's origin, origin of, and you've got oh, everyone shot out and they all just, brilliant. And this rain, Love the rain. Now, Will Eisner ones, I just always, rain was just stunning. You know, I've had a life of its own. It just was just flow down. You sort of have it like the, the gratings and things. You just have it dripping over into the gratings. Awesome. Just so much. And, and this, another thing that's great about this one, this story, is slightly odd compared with many of the others, is the inking. Because you've actually got use of coloured ink, white ink, white ink. Very unusual. Blue ink as well. So you've got different, just all the way through, purples, yellow ink. So it's not your standard just black ink. Just great colouring as well. Tense, tense colouring all the way through. So you're jumping from like purples and blues, then it's into yellows and oranges. Just great colour combinations. And this also greens and purples. And this as well with browns. Just beautiful colour palette all the way through. And this guy obviously shooting everyone there and well, I'm going to spoil the story there. And this one, is, you've got the opposite. After all that intense colour, you've got here satin. And you've just got that just pale out in the sand. You've got the sand. You can really feel the heat and the sand just as they're all walking through out in the middle of nowhere. Just beautiful. Hard like satin. And you've got cactus there. Again, the colouring all the way through this, bang, sub, skaboom, and also the sound effects with the right, just stunning. And there's lots of action all the way through, lots of characters really jerking in different angles, so you've got real sort of intense, like the layout is just superb. Just, and also the even, even when they do night scenes, the night scenes are just beautifully done. That's the thing, you've just got just the faces with that just slight light on their face, just, just slightly, thing. and obviously the, the moon there, just glorious. This is a weird one. I mean, in, when you've got in a book, in the middle of a book, you've got one which is sort of like a, uh, the Teen Titans manga sort of done style, which is quite weird. Spirit, pork beans. So you go right from one sort of realistic style to a very, and you're mixing up the story as well which is really good. That's great. Carrion, the carrion character there. This is interesting. And again, the, the, the use of colour is just beautiful. The blues and purples just in there. Almost blue. 
And you can see the blue, obviously blue is used quite a bit, it's just but again, just the beautiful way that the panels are constructed, the way that close ups and pulling back and the story, just awesome, awesome characters as well. Just love this. Now, this is the one I, well, actually, I love all this. Boom. Yeah. Just print. Now, Batman. I love the uh, the fact you've got the, obviously, the two main characters there, Doolan, Dolan there, obviously. The Kipling Club. So everyone sort of connects with the, uh, and that's look at that for Batman. Batman's very, very weird there. Of course, you've got Robin as well, but it's got it's a very unusual Batman to be honest. Of course, you've got the Joker, and as well as of course Harley Quinn as well. Again, the colours in this are just absolutely superb. And of course, they meet up with a number of other characters. So there's Gordon there and Barbara. Barbara, this is my friend Bagel. I mean, big girl absolutely looks stunning there. <laughs> yeah, and you, I love the way also the game, the typography, the word balloon. And that's another thing that's quite, when you see the way that word balloons, just beautiful. <laughs> Again, the color, and the, you've also got all the various villains here, of course, all doing various things. Obviously, Scarecrow turns up, Catwoman. There's a lot of story in there, and it's just a brilliant, brilliant tale. I just, Love that one. So uh, all the way through there, and it uh, finishes off. The, obviously, the story is called Crime Convention, so you can see the general gist. But Batman and Spirit, I don't know if they did any more combinations of stories with those two characters. However, I just thought it was a great, brilliant com uh, combination. And you got at the back, you've got an advert here for Best of the Spirit by Will Eisner. Just a brilliant volume. Absolutely superb. It's also got an introduction by Neil Gaiman. And also, of course, they brought out those lovely archive. Now, unfortunately, I did not buy those. And I do slightly regret that I did not pick up all those spirit volumes. I know they're still readily available. So, uh, yeah. And also another one that I really love. And this is, of course, Newton. This is Darwin Cook, of course. Brilliant. New Frontier. Just brilliant. The absolute volume is superb. And also that one, Batman Ego which I think is just great. And also that one, Catwoman, The Dark End of the Street, Ed Brubaker, Darwin Cook, and Mike Allred. Three of the greatest, as far as I'm concerned. I love those. So that's just a Catwoman book. Brilliant. So that's book one. I just think it's just one of the best comics. Now, this did originally have uh, books <laughs> cover around it. However, it's long gone. I don't know where that's gone, but uh, probably similar to what this is. So uh, maybe you'll, what you might see if you look for the cover will be different from this. But uh, that's uh, book one, absolute masterpiece as far as I'm concerned.